Alexi, Alexi Bruno, de Montarville, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Olivier, the Quebec kid, Aubin Mercier! Tu sais, c'est comme l'homme parfait, là, ce gars-là. Come on, man, don't love him! Once again, the win! Five year naked choke from the French Canadian! Very high level on the ground. Black belt in judo, brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Hi guys, today is a very special day. Not only is it my favorite holiday, it's also the day you're gonna hear my real voice for the very first time. Today, I want to show you guys my love for the region I was born in, Le Québec. When the Canadian gangster is able to impose his game plan, he's a dangerous man. Aubin Merci is so strong for that division, if he gets to a position when he can use his strength on the ground, the fight is pretty much over. A tendency that we see in his game is how fast he gets the tap. Olivier gets control, you're basically done. And like I said, when he's in the right spot to use his sheer strength, he puts a special kind of pressure on the neck and the limbs. The fact that Olivier Aubin-Mercy is so strong also helps him a lot with his takedowns. However, Olivier recognizes that he can now use 100% of his power for 15 minutes. You don't want to be that guy. But I was simply inefficient with my energy. With my energy. energy. So he needs to control his gas tank to keep a sufficient amount of energy so that when the right moment occurs, he can explode and get that finish. Because one thing is for damn sure, the Canadian gangster is a finisher. Five of his seven wins in the UFC are by way of knockout or submission. And interesting fact, his first four pro fights ended very well for him. Four armbar victories in the first round, all under two minutes. Mais c'est pas surprenant, il y avait la foule de Montréal à chaque combat. Bam, il arrive à Québec, défaite. Non mais sérieusement, je trouve que la Saint-Jean, c'est le moment parfait pour vous faire entendre ma langue maternelle et faire une vidéo sur Olivier aubin merci Ce gars-là représente vraiment bien le Québec et le Canada, il a la mentalité d'un vrai combattant. Bonne Saint-Jean à tous les Québécois et merci Olivier de bien nous représenter. Tu sais, c'est comme <rire> l'homme parfait, là, ce gars-là. The Quebec kid has fought 12 times in Canada, six of those in the province of Quebec. And the three other pro fights he had were in the northeast of the United States, so really close to home. I don't think he likes to travel. Anyways, Olivier is not on the best sequence of his life, career-wise. It's the first time he's had two defeats in a row, but there's no shame in losing to Alex Hernandez or Gilbert Burns, because they are f***ing dangerous and also very strong. The problem with having a strength advantage in your division is that when you face someone who can rival your strength, the resistance they will give you in certain positions will be devastating for your energy levels. The thing with Olivier is that when he gets in a dominant position, he can finish anyone. But the guys that will resist and make him work to get to that position are tougher matchups for him. Because if Obamacy's energy levels are too low when he gets to a dominant position, he can't capitalize on it. It's all about getting in safe and fresh, and I'm sure he's been working a lot with his coaches to get better everywhere, as he has a champion's mindset. The Canadian gangster has a lot of fight left in him. He has never been finished and he's already shown that he can compete at a very high level. One thing is for sure, Olivier Aubin-Mercier is never an easy task and you do not want to have his legs wrapped around your belly. Et en plus, j'ai entendu dire qu'il était invincible à Montréal. Je dis ça de même. Et faire un Olivier... Ah! Tabarnak de Chris. Quick tap, Olivier Aubin-Mercier with yet another submission win. 